All right, patrons, how we all doing? Um, thanks to the new members. Uh, it looks like we picked up on a few new members uh, this week. Um, glad to have you on board. And obviously, thanks to all the existing members. You are all making this happen. Um, wanted to show some data that I collected uh, a couple months ago. Um, honestly, have not had time to analyze this data. Sorry, but... Um, uh, it's important though. It's on the tuner, the uh, Bramley tuner, um, the DSB tuner that I've uh, been testing. Uh, I was able to, with previous testing, show how um, there is a setting where if the barometric pressure is low, which in this part of the world where I live, um, that's below 29.7, um, there is a particular setting that does really well in a low pressure atmosphere. And then there's a particular setting that does really well in a high pressure atmosphere. Um, and that happens to be setting number one on the Bramley. Um, again, this could vary based, you know, so don't, don't, don't take this as if you can put it at setting one and it'll do this. Like when you turn that tuner on to your barrel, your numerical values, the hash marks may be completely different than mine. Uh, and you'd have to test yourself to find out, you know, wh wh what setting is best for you. But I know for me with that tuner, the way it's turned on that barrel in my atmosphere, um, setting number one is ideal for high pressure. Setting number two is ideal for low. And how I did that is I took it out on multiple days with high and low pressure, shot both. And uh, tuner setting two agged extremely low uh, in low pressure and tuner setting one agged extremely low in high pressure. And then it was sort of vice versa where one um, agged high in low pressure and then two agged high in uh, high pressure. So anyway, um, I went out on the last hot day this year. <laughs> I got very lucky that I was able to quickly hit the range um, in the morning and then in the afternoon on the one, one of our hotter days this summer. Um, and what I did was um, in the morning when it was 60 degrees, I shot tuner setting one and two, and it was a high barometric pressure day altogether. So totally high barometric pressure um, all day. I was really more interested in the temperature swing because I knew in the morning it was going to be 60 and then in the late afternoon it was going to be 85, which <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but out here in the Pacific Northwest, that's pretty darn hot. Um, we did get some 90 degree days this summer, but I was unable to get to the range on those days. So this was the one day where I thought I can get to the range. It's a 25 degree temperature shift. Um, and also humidity in the morning uh, was 80% in the afternoon was 44. So um, I wanted to assess that shift. And what ended up happening was, um, and again, this is a 30 BR. This is with the Paul Porosky Voodoo Bullet and 130 powder in a Krieger 18 twist um, just at 100 yards. Um, again, barometric pressure was the same morning and, and uh, afternoon. Um, and what I found was with the low pressure tuner setting in the morning, um, it agged um, higher than in the afternoon. So tuner setting two I expected was going to be a higher ag than tuner setting one. Because remember, tuner setting one is better in high barometric pressure. And this was high barometric pressure. So that finding was basically replicated. I've, I've actually replicated that uh, multiple times, um, not only with the Bramley tuner, but also the Harris tuner on the 6PPC. So um, this finding was just once again replicated where you know, the setting that is best in low pressure shoots a higher ag in high pressure. And the setting that's best in high pressure shoots the better ag um, in the high pressure system than the tuner setting that's best at low. Um, now, here's the interesting thing. In the afternoon, when the temperature rose 25 degrees, humidity dropped um, from 80 to, to 44 um, which was a drop of 36 percentage points. Um, tuner setting one and two were, were showed the same ags. So it seems like um, 
there's an interaction going on here um, where maybe the, the, the setting that is good and low and high, once it gets to be pretty hot and uh, for, well, out for here, hot, <laughs> maybe not where you live, but, um, and the humidity has a significant drop. Uh, it seems like the settings one and two both performed exactly the same. So um, interesting. I'm going to be tracking this data, um, publishing more on it, um, and hopefully, you know, getting to shoot in, um, you know, warmer conditions so I can sort of tease out, you know, how how does, you know, temperature um, play a factor over barometric pressure? You know, I'm just trying to shoot in all these different atmospheres to see what's going on. But in this particular case, under the standard scenario of, you know, our temperature and humidity out here, 60 degrees, 80% humidity, the tuner settings one and two performed exactly how they were supposed to. But then boom, it gets hot and humidity drops and they both perform the same. Um, so just interesting findings. Um, again, with tuners, I think you have to go out and just try them in different atmospheric conditions um, with a couple, you know, a couple different settings. Um, again, establish your tune window first, set it in the middle of the tune window. Um, and then you only need to go, you know, one hash mark in, in one direction, really. That, that's what I found with both the, um, the Bramley and the Harris tuner. And, uh, we'll be hopefully testing the, uh, Izel tuner today too. It's a very low barometric pressure day to day. I just checked it. It's 29.55 right now. Um, so today would be a good day to go test that tuner to see if it has the exact same type of effect with barometric pressure that the uh, Bramley and the uh, Harris tuner have. But anyway, so there you go. More data. Interesting. Seems like, um, you know, once it heats up significantly, those tuner settings that differentiated on barometric pressure no longer differentiate. Interesting stuff. All right, everyone. Shoot small.